Good day everyone, I'm Starlight. Welcome to my second YouTube video uh, covering Gems of War. Um, this one's going to be pretty straightforward. I just thought I'd do a fun key opening. Um, the, um, the week of the new Mythic is over. I managed to get two copies of Grey King, inspired a little bit by uh, Key Lime's team, which requires two of them. And I uh, got very lucky. It only cost me, I don't know, about a thousand glory keys and 40,000 glory, something like that, which um, um, is really quite a bargain considering I've got over 200,000 glory at the moment. So that's kind of going to be my baseline from now on. Anything over 200,000 I spend. Uh, but obviously I don't want a third copy. Now, before I start, um, just wanted to uh, let people know if they haven't seen it already. Um, I've actually got a Gems of War web page um, where I uh, provide a bunch of reference information. So um, that's the web page right there. Um, that's the main website and then, or the web page, which is, uh, it needs a redesign, put it that way, it's a bit bland. But the tables themselves, uh, hang on, this one, uh, so that's the direct link to the quick reference tables, the online versions. Um, and what they look like is, some of them look a bit like that. So this is the heraldry section. There's a whole bunch of these tables. Basically, I'm trying to summarize the kind of information that you need to um, uh, find quickly sometimes when you're playing the game. Uh, this table probably needs a bit of a rework. I'm going to put the factions up on the right as well. Um, it's a little bit messy, but uh, or busy rather, but um, Eh, it's pretty good. Um, some of the others, um, I mean, this whole thing started with uh, the banners tables um, because it was so hard to find a banner before. Um, anyway, uh, hopefully there's some uh, stuff there that you'll find useful. And I am looking to add more stuff in the future, particularly if I get a bit of encouragement. That always helps. Um, but in addition to the online reference tables, I've also got some printable stuff. So that looks a bit like this. So this is the top of the hero class um, printable table. And as you see, there's a little bit of extra information on the right. Um, there's a key explaining what all the symbols are. They're basically storms. Um, and um, yeah, I find having this sitting next to me, it's uh, two pages, which I print at half size, so it all fits on one page which I can fold over. Having that sitting next to me when I'm playing on the couch or even on, at my desk um, just lets me find things quickly if I need to know them rather than trying to find them in the game or on a website or something like that. The other printable thing I've got is the Kingdom Power Checklist. Uh, this one's designed to keep track of uh, your progress towards Kingdom Power Stars, which um, are something, basically, as you go up in Kingdom Power Stars, not levels, but stars, um, your tribute increases, your hourly tribute. So if you're taking a tribute every hour, you're going to get a lot more resources um, from uh, and more often from high star kingdoms than low star kingdoms. And um, the idea of this is uh, this document is that you print it out, it's supplied as a PDF, you print it out, you, oh, actually I supplied as a Word document too, so you can actually fill it in your, yourself. Um, but then you fill it in every time, like whenever I get a new troop, I'll put a little dot next to the, um, the count I've got so far and every couple of months, um, I'll uh, just change the numbers in the Word document I've got and uh, print it out again. Um, obviously, the, the maximum power stars, which are the numbers you can see there, um, that changes periodically, so I update that as well when I can, but um, uh, on my own copy I'll just put a little dot next to it if it goes up, or just write over it in pencil, um, works great over the grey. Um, and I try to keep all of this information updated uh, basically whenever a new class or a new kingdom comes out. So that's the website, I'll put it in the description and um, yeah, take a look uh, and hopefully you'll find something useful there and even more in the future. Now, let's open some keys. So, my goal here is I am missing 13 mythics 
and let's see a bunch of I've got a list of uh, legendaries and a handful of epics that I don't have fully maxed and so um, yeah let's see how many of them we can get um, right now <laughs> so I might as well start with the gem keys because they're always fun um, so we'll just do 50 at a time but I'm not going to sit here through opening each one so let's see what we get not a lot <laughs> well that's pretty normal uh, gem keys are pretty rare and even though their odds aren't too bad um, I find it <laughs> that was funny same same troop uh, dropped first so um, again nothing there that I actually needed um, yeah the chances on uh, on gem keys uh, for mythics are 0.1% so I've got just under 500 there we started with I've basically roughly got a 50% chance of getting a mythic right now um, although it could be one that I already have or it could be nothing at all uh, so let's keep going Ooh, Behemoth! I did need a copy of that, so uh, I now only need two more before I've got uh, four times max on that, or four times mythic rather. Keeper of Souls I maxed, and none of the epics are interesting. Cool, let's keep going. I should say I am, a, I guess, an end game player. <laughs> oh my god, that's a fifth copy of the world break. <laughs> Possibly a sixth. <laughs> And I crafted the first one. Oh uh, dear. Anyway, no luck there. What I really want is one copy of um, Wrath because I'm one short of uh, uh, Mythic for my Wrath and I've been using it a lot recently. So fingers crossed for that one. Bloody world breaker. All right, here we go. Uh, nothing there either. Pretty typical. Amprilliang! Nope, got plenty of him. Um, nothing interesting in the epics either. And there's so many troops to choose from now, the chances of actually getting the very one you're after is pretty low. Quillen's max, so that's no good. Pavos! Woohoo! I do need, a f I need seven copies of Pavos. Now I only need six! <laughs> Um, yeah, Pavos isn't even uh, mythic for me because I was uh, trying to save gems when that event came around. Okay, two more goes at this. The Widow Queen. Nope. Uh, and nothing down there either. Um, oh, it's gone down to ten. Now nah, we'll do the whole lot in one. There we go. Well, I did get a mythic, but not only was it a copy, it was a copy of the one I've got the most of. <laughs> That's pretty typical. All right, let's keep going now. Glory keys. So as you see, I've got 220 odd thousand uh, plus 10 keys. So I'll do the keys and Orion. Oh no, I already got him. And let's see. Oh look, we have to go by thousands. So as I said, I'm basically going to try and keep 200,000 uh, glory at all times. The idea being that uh, that's where I get most of my new mythics from. Um, Aquaticus, I think I spent 60,000 glory uh, to get Aquaticus. And um, yeah, just don't get that much from gem keys in terms of mythics. Mostly it just comes from pure glory. Um, and you never know, I might get something here too. Uh, nothing so far. Come on, Rath. <laughs> Alright. Hydra! Didn't I get one of those a moment ago? Anyway, I maxed on it, so no real help there. I suppose the, the max stuff is, could be uh, useful for adding tokens. Um, yeah, we'll have to see what Tacit does. It should be interesting. But um, he's been hanging on to all of his... Oh, do I need another Shimmer Scale? Oh, no, I'm good. Um, Tacit's been holding on to um, 
all these extra copies of stuff, even though it doesn't show up on the interface anymore. Um, in the hope that they'll increase how many souls you get, but I don't think that's going to happen now. Um, but there's this major new soul drain coming in to the next patch, and that is going to mean that the uh, 3 million souls I've got was probably going to disappear pretty quickly. So, um, and I have, I've only been playing not yet a year and a half. Oh. Nope. Not useful. King Avalon would have been better. Come on, Wrath! <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, so it'll be interesting to see if Tacit finally converts all his extra troops to souls. Although, to be honest, I think he's been playing so long that, um, He's got a billion extra, uh, sorry, a billion souls anyway. Um, all right, not a billion, but, uh, oh, Forest Guardian. Nope, got all that. Got the silent one. No good. Come on, Wrath. Um, yeah, but keep that in mind. I mean, if, if you are running out of souls for um, applying medals to your key troops, uh, one option is definitely to um, trade in your extra copies. Uh, just make sure you've got... Um, and the automatic system should do, do it correctly. Uh, I haven't heard any reports of it not working, but... Um, yeah, you... Um, you kind of want to... Completion in this game, as far as I'm concerned, is four copies of every troop at Mythic difficulty... at Mythic um, Ascension, rather. Um, obviously I've got a few too many of uh, the Worldbreaker now, but uh, uh, just two more. Wow, hate when that happens. Come on, Wrath! King Avalon! Oh well, at least it's something. I can tick him off my list. Don't need any, any more copies of him. I've got four, well, four at Mythic now. Alright, that's enough for glory. I've still got some guild keys. Ha 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 ha. So, what are the chances, the odds on this? 0.11. Okay, so it's slightly higher than the um, the guild chests, I think. Of 90%. No, hang on, how's this work? So, oh no, those add up to. That's a real value. So, if you add all these sub numbers together, you'll get 100%. Yep, okay. And what was the glory rates? Let's just have a quick look at those for completeness. A tenth of that, so um, yeah. And yet I still get most of my uh, mythic drops from uh, glory. So go figure. Let's have a look at gold keys, um, commons and rares, obviously, and uh, only minor and major trait stones. Funnily enough, uh, you can get gems. And I think this is the only place you can, but um, I'd have to look back through it to verify. VIP keys, uh, obviously I'm not quite at VIP level 5, and given that I think it's about $200 or something worth, um, which is about four times what you pay for a, a AAA game these days, I'm not likely to be spending any more money, I'm afraid. Uh, I've already spent over 100 um, But there's a 1% rate of Mythic, so, you know... Um, Arguably. <laughs> All right, uh, let's just quick look here. Mythics, again, same as gem keys, but there's nothing in Groshnak that's uh, worth me getting. I've got both of the, um, annoyingly, I've got both of the useless Mythics from there. All right, guild keys it is. So our odds are 0.11%. I've got, uh, whatever, um, I've got what I've got. So let's spend it. The Dragon Soul! Another useless copy! Yay! <laughs> okay, here we go. Shadow Dragon and Vinoxia. Nope. Uh, and incidentally, I had the, um, the seals I had was um, because I've cashed in some orbs to help the guilds get to um, max out before um, Thursday. Frost Feather. Now that is actually useful. Yay! I mean, not hugely useful, but slightly useful. Um, 
I think I only need one more copy of Frost Feather to have four times Mythic. So, there you go. Come on, Wrath! Celestasia! Yeah, nope. And still no. I had this idea to do a um, pronunciation video to offset Chasset's um, impressive work <laughs> pronouncing the names of troops. troops. Um, that looks good, but unfortunately I've got them all maxed, so not much good there. Um, and we keep going. Um, not, not sure when that video might happen. I feel like I need to make a really big introduction to it. And so I keep putting that bit off. Well, we're under a thousand and still nothing particularly impressive. Imagine if I'd actually been going for the new mythic with this. Good thing I've already got the Grey King from uh, Glory. Just a user interface issue. Yeah, no good. Why does it still say a thousand here? I mean, if I click it, you don't have enough. Well, why are you giving me the option? Eh. Um, Herald of Chaos. Okay, now we've got to do it super slow, one at a time. Nope. Come on, Rass. Ah. Five more chances. No, four more. Come on, Rath. Come on, Rath. My portal. No. Not even an epic. Come on, Rath. No. All right. <laughs> well, that was um, disappointing, but there you go. <laughs> So, um, I hope that was entertaining. Uh, it was certainly more fun to, for me to be commenting on it rather than just doing it. Um, let me just put up the web address again. And um, yeah, uh, come pay me a visit. And um, there's a thread on the forums um, where I announce uh, what I've done with that and uh, with the reference tables. But um, I think you can just search quick reference tables or kingdom power checklist. Um, I should really link them on the website so that people can uh, discuss um, and make suggestions or requests or anything else. I'm always happy to hear them. Um, and um, yeah, I guess that's it for me from me for now. So um, hope you had fun. <laughs> Bye.